G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclists and I'm coming to you today with another wheel set review. This is the Atomic, pardon the banging around here, the Atomic Carbon GR33 650B Carbon Gravel Wheel Set. And Atomic Carbon has been in business for many years and they're based out of Tampa, Florida. They're a small operation and that means you can specify wheel options that you would not ordinarily be able to get from some of the bigger brand wheel companies. Despite being a small company, Atomic offers free worldwide shipping on all their wheel sets, so that's pretty tasty. Also in the same vein as tasty is this pair of wheels I got here. And these, if you might notice, are built for a lefty bike. It's a bike I'm reviewing and these wheels are going to be installed on that bike which is the Cannondale Topstone Carbon Lefty. Now these wheels are carbon but they're also extra special more than that. They've been laced with the fantastic Bird BERD ultralight spokes. Now for all the techy details on those spokes you should definitely see the link in the description below and this is not my first review of a wheel set built with these spokes. There's plenty of people riding these spokes nowadays and they can tell you firsthand they're fantastic and I didn't exactly have them sitting around the house looking pretty. I thrashed the bloody pants off them. If you haven't bothered to read the techy details of the Bird spokes I'll overlay the name right now what the uh, spokes are constructed from because I'll probably mess it up on camera. But these spokes are much lighter than steel, they've got a lot more strength than steel and if you take them onto a lake they'll float on the water. How amazing is that? Floaty spokes. Consequently the spokes are special and therefore they bump up the price of the wheel set and some extra special care has to be taken during the building of the wheels. And basically the lads work on a three pass system of tensioning these wheels. So it takes three passes to get the final tension set and hopefully all being well they won't go out of true. Okay so enough of my claptrap, let's get a closer look at these wheels by Atomic Carbon. So here's the rear wheel and it's laced with 28 of the Fantastic Bird B-E-R-D spokes and you can see there they use traditional nipples. There's no internalized nipples or anything difficult like that to deal with and you can specify all sorts of different hub sets with the wheels by Atomic but the lads have sent me this pair of wheels with the venerable DT40S hub set. Now they are six bolt but the front wheel is six bolt as well so they want to have a matching set. We'll show that in a minute but you can see there lovely looking set of wheels and they also set up the decals to be a nice purple color, a fetching purple color if you will which will complement the frame of the Topstone Carbon Lefty by Cannondale. And of course, being a DT Swiss hub, you can easily swap out the cassette bodies. So you've got Shimano, SRAM XD, XDR, and of course, Campagnolo if you desire. And here's the front wheel, and look at that. It looks pretty suspect, doesn't it? That's because it's a lefty. So, bolts onto the fork right there. Your axle goes straight through here. Anyway, we'll show that on the bike later on in the review. So 28 spokes again on the front wheel and that makes for a very stout build. This is a very strong wheel set and I think it's a pretty cool looking wheel set too. And it feels incredibly light. And the other ticky detail about the front wheel is its hub, which is a lefty, a genuine Canada lefty 60 hub. Honestly, I wish you could put this in your hand and wave it around the place because it feels insanely light. In fact, we'll put it on the gram scale in a moment, but first thing we have to do here, and pardon all the fluff I've got inside the rim. Oh my God, you can't take me anywhere, can you? I will get out my handy calipers right there and measure the rims. Now there you go, there is the rim width. 33 millimeters, which is the same as the nomenclature for this wheel set, the GR33. Let's measure the inside diameter. And here we go, here's the inside diameter. And they measure, I hope it's in focus, 26 millimeters. That's pretty wide. And you might notice that the rims are pre taped and they also included valves ready to go. That's a nice little touch. I guess you also would like to know how deep the rims are. So let's figure that out. Get out the old caliper there again. And here is the rim depth. Let's get the caliper there. Hopefully you can see that okay. There you go, 24 millimeters, fantastic. 
I know a question you're going to ask me now, how much do the wheels weigh? Let's check them onto the scales. The scales are misbehaving. Well, they're close. It's already got a gram registered, supposedly. All right, so the rear wheel, we'll say it's 730, uh, 733, we'll say it's 733 grams. And that's including the valve tape and the valve and also the little end cap, which I'm definitely going to remove. That might save me 0.00001 of a gram. Here we go, onto the gram scale with the front wheel. 617, 617 grams. That's close enough. So you're looking at a total combined weight of, that's crazy, 1,350 grams, including the rim tape and the valves, and all these stickers as well. That's pretty nice. So that is the techie details of the Atomic GR33 carbon 650B gravel wheel set covered. How do they mount up with tires? Let's get cracking and mount a tire or two. Here we go, inflating a tire on the Atomic Carbon, and it's quite a large casing, isn't it? It's the Panorama Gravel King SS tire in 650B by 48 millimeters. And this is a tire that I've reviewed already on the Gravel Cyclist website, and I've linked that in the description below. For the purposes on the first attempt, we're going to use the latest iteration of the Bontrager. Let's get it the right way. Bontrager TLR flash charger pump with a fancy new digital gauge and I've got the cylinder preloaded to 153 PSI. This may or may not work, fingers crossed. So I've taken the liberty of removing the valve, okay, for maximum airflow. So let's hope it works. So I don't want to have to visit my mate and pass him a pair of wheels and wait a day while he gets them back to me because of COVID, we're not going near each other. Here we go, we're gonna flick the release. Please work. Oh man. That, my friends, is the sound of success. And I started the dog barking off in the background. Look at that, look how big that tire casing is. It's inflated beautifully. So I'll momentarily add sealant. I won't bore you those details and we'll uh, show you how the wheel looks, all inflated. And there you go, that's the Panorama Gravel King SS in 650B by 48. Actually, you know what, let's just measure on camera right now, live for giggles, see how much this tire measures on these rims because it's way bigger than 48. It's measuring 51 millimeters. <laughs> 51 millimeters of huge width. So, I'm gonna shake and bake the tire real quick. That's where I just shake the sealant around, make sure it's nice and distributed evenly, and plugs these little would-be holes in the casing and so on. Make sure it's all sealed. But I don't expect any dramas because it was such a nice inflation job. It went pew, straight onto the rim. All right, that's it. Good to go. So that's the tire mounting covered. Let's see how the Atomic Carbon GR33 650B carbon gravel wheels ride. Weighing mid 1300 grams, the Atomic Carbon wheels are very light, but incredibly durable. People can joke that bird spokes are a gimmick, but they certainly are not. I've been riding a personal set of wheels built with these spokes for some time in a similar build, and they're still true, no broken spokes, etc. The same can be said for this wheel set. It has performed admirably without any issues. It's still true, and it's still looking good. This Cannondale Lefty specific wheel set is a serious upgrade to the Cannondale Topstone Carbon Lefty that are reviewed, and you can see that linked below. But Atomic produces wheels with these rims, bird spokes, or regular spokes, and regular hubs for non-proprietary bikes, so no worries there. There are no rider weight limits on this particular wheel set. The fact that Atomic can make you anything you like is a huge plus versus so many mainstream wheel sets you see on the market today. The rims are of a good depth, but not deep enough to be bothered by crosswinds, and their low weight means they accelerate quickly. This would be a perfect race or performance oriented wheel set for a lefty bike or an irregular build, a more traditional gravel bike. I ran these wheels with Panerace's latest Gravel King SS tire, which makes for a very fast and light combination. Why does 650B tires offer a nice amount of comfort for a rider in addition to protecting the rims from serious hits? And the Atomic wheels were no exception. 
the bird spokes make this wheel set even better. I cannot put a finger on it, but they add some cush to the wheel set without it feeling like a noodle or losing any of the wheel's lateral integrity. Atomic are no dummies partnering with bird spokes. The 650B, the fun size as I call it, made these wheels a blast to ride. Atomic can produce 700C if you are so inclined, but this lefty bike in its current configuration is designed for 650B. I didn't have to give too much thought on how or where I rode. That's how good these wheels were, and with the active suspension of the lefty bike, the wheel set transforms this bike into a serious performer. Atomic customised the decals on this wheel set to complement the Cannondale Topstone Carbon Lefty, but they can produce these wheels in any colour of decal or more subtle for an understated look. With DT hubs at their centre, high quality rims and spokes, you can expect years of service from this wheel set. Finally, the price. And that depends on options you choose with Atomic, but you're looking at around $2,000 US for this pair of wheels. That may sound steep to upgrade a lefty specific bike, but you'll thank me later if you do. And for a more traditional bike, whilst I didn't review such a wheel set by Atomic, you can expect similar performance and low weight and customize accordingly. Atomic wheels also come with a 24 month warranty and crash replacement pricing should you destroy a wheel beyond the usual realms of a warranty claim. If you desire a legitimate performance edge for your gravel bike, these atomic carbon wheels may be the ticket for you. So there you have it, my review of the Atomic Carbon GR33 650B gravel wheel set featuring bird spokes. I realize nowadays at the time of this video, there is a ton, a plethora, a cornucopia, a smorgasbord of different wheels available for your gravel bike. So I hope that my review went some way into helping you make an informed purchase decision. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you, oh, this is the hard part right now, oh boy, in the next video.